In today's video, we discuss a new entry into the Supermicro Ultraline, capable of high-end processing power with potential for GPU support. Watch on to find out more. Hey there guys, Kieran here from Server Factory. We've had one of the new Supermicro AS1114S WN10RT Ultra servers ordered through us, and we thought we'd share it with you. This is part of Supermicro's Ultra line, and as such, comes pre-configured as a complete system. So let's have a look at the specs. The AS1114S WN10RT is a compact one new system, but still has a lot of power packed into it. Starting at the heart of the system, we are running an AMD EPIC 7502P on Supermicro's H12 SSW NTR motherboard. The support for the EPIC 7002 line of CPUs allows us up to 64 cores and enables us to use the 16 DIMM slots to achieve a maximum of 4 terabytes of memory. We are using this by running 8 sticks of 16GB DDR4 memory, covering the minimum amount of DIMM usage. In terms of storage, we are using four 960GB 2.5-inch SSDs to take advantage of four of the 10 front panel hot swappable drives, all of which are U.2 NVMe. Additionally, we have installed a 128GB SSD SATA DOM to allow for fast booting to the OS. The front panel also holds two of the system's seven USB 3.0 ports. Now looking at the rear exterior of the system, we find the I.O. ports featuring a dedicated IPMI port, a single VGA port, a further four USB 3.0 ports and two 10GBA T LAN ports. To the left of the system rear, we find the C14 ports for the two redundant 750 watt platinum rated PSUs, which provide the system with enough power to run efficiently, and should one of the power supplies fail, the other is able to pick up the slack. Behind the two PCIe expansion slots, there is plenty of space for either two single slot cards or a dual slot GPU, should you require it. This can be achieved by installing a riser card in the motherboard PCI 4.0, X32 and X16 expansion slots, enabling for a greater array of use cases. Finally, take a look at the system's six heavy duty fans that help to keep the system at its ideal operating temperature of between 10 and 35 degrees. And that's it for the system. Would you buy Supermicro's AS1114S WN10RT? Let us know in the comments below. As always, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a share. And for more content from us, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when we post a new video. Thank you for watching.